Hi everyone, it's Chrissy and welcome back to another Sims 4 patch overview. So this patch is going to be a little bit of a different one. It's going to be a little bit longer possibly. Not the patch but like the patch overview. Because I am going to go on a little bit of a rant. But first off, I do want to go over some of the creator sim things that have been patched in and everything like that. And then we're going to go on and jump into build mode. So that I can show you all the new items that they've added for Hispanic Heritage Month. So first off, in creator sim. So there were a few things that they were supposed to have fixed in creator sim. Such as some of the blotchiness with some of the darker skin tones. So if you haven't been following this, basically the Sims team has released a press release that I'll have linked below if you want to read the whole thing. Where they said that they will be fixing the blotchiness that some of the darker skin tones have that are already in the game. So that's a running thing that has been going on for the past like two, maybe three years by now. And it just never got fixed. They said that they were going to fix that in this patch. And they were also supposed to fix the ashiness. Like the ashy kind of like washed out undertone that a lot of the darker skin tones have. And that's something that we were all really excited to see fixed in this patch. And as you can see from the sim that I have before you right now, that clearly has not been fixed. Clearly the skin tones are still just as ashy as they were before. This is my game without reshade or anything like that on. I turned reshade off. My sim doesn't have my default skin on them or anything like that. So this is just EA completely CC and mods free. And clearly the sim, she looks, if I have her in like 90% of these darker skin tones, she kind of looks dead. She looks like all the life has been drained out of her and that's just not how skin tones work. <laughs> and that's the issue that we had with these skin tones when they were released and they were supposed to have been fixed and clearly they were not fixed. Clearly the blotchiness is still there, it's very evident on this one. Between the eyes, around her mouth and everything, it's still just as blotchy. I mean, it looks a little bit less than it was way back when, but it's still there. It's not supposed to be there anymore, but it still is, which is something that's annoying. And this is supposed to just have been a fix patch to just fix the ones that we already have, the skin tones that we already have. The big update to, to skin tones is supposed to come in December when they're going to be adding in over a hundred new skin tones and they're going to be adding a skin tone slider as well so we can adjust like how light or dark a skin tone is and they're also going to be adding in makeup sliders but all of that will be in December and yeah this was just supposed to be a fix to the ones that we have and clearly it didn't work for some reason. But the other thing that I do want to mention concerning skin tones, and this isn't like EA related at all. I wanted to do a separate video on this, but I figured I could just mention it in this one. Basically, I have the skin tones that you see right here. Like there's, I believe, over 60 or 70 of them. They're all skin tones that's part of one skin pack by Velvet Scout or Limitees. I'll leave her link down below to download this if you want to. But basically it's a bunch of CC skin tones. Now obviously console doesn't have access to custom content so this won't work for them or for you if you play on console. But for PC and Mac players, this is an alternative if you're okay with using CC in your game until we get the big skin tone update. But basically, this like CC pack has skin tones that are separated into four undertones. So we have neutrals, we have cool und we have cool undertones, then we have warm undertones, and then we also have olive undertones. So it's a very great pack. I definitely recommend you download it and use it because it's gorgeous. All of the skin tones are flawless. They don't have these weird blotches or anything like that. And they add a lot of diversity to your game as well. So 
yeah definitely check that out i'll have it linked down below now another thing that they were supposed to have fixed was two base game hairstyles and i will say that they did manage this a little bit better so they managed they fixed this hairstyle which i can't remember what either of these hairstyles look like originally what they looked like because i never used them because they were really bad honestly but this one is a lot better i love the way it turned out you can see that the braids are like you can actually see that they're individual braids and they're not as flat or like textureless or anything like that anymore they also added the baby hairs which is really really cute another of the hairstyles that they were supposed to have fixed was this one this like medium afro hairstyle now like i said i can't remember what the original looked like but i think this texture is an improvement i believe the medium the one the texture used to look like this which is really really bad so yeah i'm i, I could really hope that they'll fix this hairstyle at some point too but the texture is better the shape of it i'm not sure if this is a realistic shape for an afro hairstyle or anything like that but let me know down in the comments if you have like if your hair looks like this or is supposed to look kind of like similar to this but yeah let me know about that in the comments but the texture does look a little bit better it doesn't look as flat anymore so i guess that's a win so those are all of the like items that they were supposed to have like fixed like the fixes in this pack so a few of the things that they added in for a hispanic heritage month was actually this shirt that she's wearing right now this jacket and it's really cute it has a little freezer bunny on the back that was actually designed by a real life like tattoo artist and they talk about all of this in a blog post that i'll have linked below as well but yeah we have this jacket that's unfortunately just a recolor of a get famous jacket as you can see this is the get famous one and this is the new base game ones and like details are a little bit different but i guess i don't know how i feel about that so i'm not gonna say anything about it but yeah it's just a recolor then we also have this jersey shirt that also has like a bunch of like the same colors and themes and everything but it's very like it's very patterned very bright very i love actually how it looks i love some of the designs and everything like that that's on it so yeah i really like this i believe it's a recolor as well but yeah it's really cute and we also have that shirt for male sims as well we have the same swatches for adult male sims and then we also have a shirt for kids we don't have anything for toddlers as far as i could see but we do have a shirt for kids that have like a bunch of like the same swatches and we have the one with the butterfly and then all of the other ones are just like freezer bunny on the front a little bit of writing on the back really cute but again base game shirt recolor and the blog post also mentioned that we were, we were supposed to be getting like a Panama hat or something with this update. And I can't seem to find it like anywhere. I've gone through this like a dozen times. But I mean all of these hats that kind of look like Panama hats to me. They're, they've all been in the game for ages. So I don't see where the new hat is. But yeah so that's all of the creator sim items that i wanted to show you let me jump into bold mode and i'll show you what they added to that okay so here we are in bold mode and they did add quite a few things to bold mode they added let's work from the top down so they added some pergolas which are really really gorgeous i can see myself using these a lot they have a bunch of different swatches for like wood colors and everything they also have these gorgeous flowers on them that kind of like climb up the sides which is just stunning and yeah so they have the pergolas they also added some really gorgeous wall murals that you'll see and these are just stunning i love the colors the designs it's just like the artwork on these are just stunning and then they also added some decorative vases or like pottery pieces i'm just gonna call them vases but yeah they added these and these have so many different color swatches and 
like different designs on them and patterns and everything that they're just stunning they're really really awesome and really 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 gorgeous i love them now the other things that they added were these tables they added a table a new table and a new chair to the game and the chairs come in a bunch of different swatches as you can see a bunch of bright swatches and the cute little like flower designs on them even change with every swatch and it's just it's gorgeous i love the details on them and the tables are actually one of my favorite things that they've added because you know even though they do have a bunch of like really bright swatches that you might not be able to use like everywhere but they have a bunch of bright swatches a bunch of different designs and everything they also have a plain white and a plain black swatch which is great because this table could honestly work in like any house any bowl because it doesn't look super modern but it also doesn't look like super old-fashioned if that makes sense so yeah it could work for literally like any build which is fantastic and then the last thing that they added in build mode is this grill now this grill does have a specific name like chimenea or something like that that they did like say in the stream yesterday as well but I can't pronounce any of these words, so if I pronounce them wrong, I'm really sorry. But yeah, they added this grill to the game as well, which is really pretty. I love the shape of this grill. Like, I don't know why, but the shape of it is just really, like, pleasing to look at for me anyway. So yeah, those are all of the bold items that they added. And my favorite thing though about the patch so far has been the fact that they added new recipes to the game so all of these recipes are made on the grill like on this grill or any of the other in-game grills but you knew you do need to make them on a grill but they added eight new recipes and these recipes i'm not going to try and pronounce them but chicken chicken something skewers and like another word that I'm not going to pronounce and they added a bunch of things that again not going to try and pronounce them but they look so good and like stuff like grilled plantains and these like burger looking things which I know they have a proper name and everything but yeah they look so nice and I don't know I really like the way they look and I love the fact that they added these to the game because they're supposed to be traditional, like, Hispanic-type dishes. Dishes from different places and different countries and everything like that. Like, Latin American countries, basically. I know they took inspiration from a bunch of different countries for this update, not just one specific country. So, yeah, there's a bunch of different influences from all over, which is really great, and I love that. I love that they're adding more of this into the game. So yeah, if you haven't updated your games yet, now would be a great time to update it. You know, just remember to back up your saves and remove your mods. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically everything for this patch update. They did add a bunch of bug fixes and stuff as well. I haven't read through all of the bug fixes myself yet. But I will have the official patch notes down below as well as the blog post telling you a little bit more about the Hispanic Heritage Month updates. And on that blog post, they actually posted a real life recipe for, I believe it was a recipe for Chimmy, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But I believe they posted a recipe for that and I think a recipe for something else as well. I haven't had a proper look at that part yet, but yeah, definitely go and check that out if you're interested in making any of like these recipes or something along those lines but yeah let me know what you think about this update what you think about the new like l like his spanish heritage wow his spanish what i can't speak hispanic heritage month update as well as the skin tone issue because i know this isn't just an issue in my game i've come across multiple other simmers that have been that have still have I guess I should say that still have this issue in their game with the skin tones and it's really disheartening if I'm being completely honest because as you could see 
CC creators are creating these amazing skin tone packs that don't have those flaws and this like skin tone flaw has been in the game for years and they just haven't fixed it so yeah I really hope they do that at some point I really really need them to do that if I'm being completely honest but let me know what you think about all of this just keep in mind to remain respectful in your comment don't attack anyone don't attack each other or the developers or anything like that just remain like constructive in your criticism but yeah let me know what you think about all of this stuff and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a like and if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see some more sims content feel free to hit the subscribe button and remember to turn on the notification bell as well to be notified of whenever i upload a new video but I hope you guys are all having a great day and that your week has started off great as well. And I will talk to you on my very next video. Bye everyone.